Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving into a new series on the channel, and my neighbor's dog will not shut up. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it is terribly annoying me. Every time I sit down to record, it seems like that dog just does not want to... You know, that's beside the point. We're diving into a new series on the channel, um, and... <sighs> If you've kept up with my channel or my Patreon over the last few days, um, I've dived into like four or five new series. Um, and basically I'm catching up on patron requests and I've got quite a few different series that some of my higher tier patrons have requested. So what I figured I would do is I would dive into the first episode of all of these series, give you guys kind of just a preview session of what to expect for the series, my reaction to this series, and then I would let my patrons vote um, either at the end of the month, beginning next month, depending how long it takes me to get these edited and uploaded. Um, on which of these series I should dive into next once I've cleared some of the other ones off my plate I'm already in the middle of. So right now we're diving into the End of the World with you, a Japanese series, and this one is sent to us by Slytherin Wolf, who we love as a Hufflepuff. Every good Hufflepuff needs a Slytherin in their corner, so how you doing, baby? But yeah, we're going to dive into this and just see what it's all about, and hopefully my neighbor's dog will shut up at some point during this reaction. Fingers crossed. But we're going to dive in and just... See what this is. And now we're in love with nine days left to go. I mean, he is cute, and I like his glasses. And why is that? Do you love him? Does he love you back? Oh, Lord. Okay, I guess it happens frequently. Is there something you would like to do about it? I mean, you're you coming in awful close. Okay, y'all better give me a kiss on the first episode. Sure. The story, they said, Topher, we ain't built, waiting to build this story. No, we giving it to you right now. Hot out the gate. Let, 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 him, work, let him work for it, baby. <laughs> I mean, it was fairly obvious. Oh, oh, okay. Lord, what did I just say about not giving away on the first date? Come on now. Make him work for it. Put up a fight. Okay, well, I don't, I, I, I got lots of feelings. Um, I don't know how long we're going to stay in this flashback, because I caught just a little bit of like the preview for next episode before I paused it. Um, and it seemed as though we were still in a flashback. So I think this is only like eight episodes long, so it's a short series. So I'm not entirely certain how long we're going to be in this flashback area, if it's just a couple more episodes, or if we're not coming back to present day until like episode six, seven, eight. No, no. But I'm, I'm very intrigued. Um, I love the, I love the storytelling. I love the similar thing to what I said when I was reacting to our dining room, which also another Japanese series. I love the, how much of some of these scenes is just quiet or absence of background music and I just hear ambient noises. Um, it just makes it feel more authentic um, and just, just different way of telling the story. Um, I love I love this flashback that we're in right now. I'm curious to see what else happened as far as a relationship. I'm assuming it did not end well or favorably otherwise it wouldn't have been so long since they've seen each other and he um matsumi wouldn't be 
as hesitant to bump into him at the library as he was. He's like, I, I've on only a few days left in the world and I run into the one person that I don't want to run into. It's like, okay, why? Did he get his heart broken? Was there a cheating thing that happened? Was there a jealousy thing? Could he not handle um, Ritsu being as popular and being around all the ladies? Was he just a ladies man and just flirtatious with everybody? Is this just what Ritsu does? I don't know. There's so many ways we could go down, go about this. Um, but I'm interested to see where they take us. Um, and I think it's a very interesting premise well first i thought before we jumped in this flashback i thought we we're gonna uh obviously i'm shipping them together <laughs> it's the nature of these series um so i was assumed that it was going to be something along the lines of oh i met this person when the world was ending and we're gonna fall in love over the course of these eight days feels really really fast for that whole falling in love storyline but it wouldn't be the first time we've seen people fall in love overnight so um, so that's where I thought we were going, but then the fact that they have history, I'm like, okay, maybe it was a missed opportunity, and, you know, this is a second chance, I'm getting my second chance to, you know, have this romance, of course, when the world is ending, but it's like, no, he already had his chance to have this romance, we already dove in hot and deep, this was his, that was his first time, this, this man took away his, his Kit Kat, um, he, he got up, mm, um, so, it's not that case at all. It's very much a rekindling of a romance that was already existing and stopped for some reason. We do not know the reason yet, but I'm very interested to see what path they take us down. Um, but yeah, I love the direction. I love the cinematography. And I like the storytelling thus far. It, I'm, I'm very... I'm very attracted to what I'm seeing, and not just because they're beautiful and they've got beautiful cheekbones and lips and all that, like, nothing about the physical, like, I'm just, I want to watch more. I feel like I've said that about every one of these new series that I've dove into over the last two days, but, like, yes, this is one that I'm like, I, I kind of just want to binge through it all right now, because it's a very short series, there's only like 20 minute, 20 minute episodes, and there's only like eight of them, so I'm like, theoretically, I could, um, but I don't think I'm going to. Or maybe I will. Who knows? Maybe one more episode won't kill me. We'll see. But I've got other things on my list I gotta dive into, too. I think I still have one, two, three, four other series patron requested that I need to dive into. Um, plus, I gotta meet up with DC and Edison from Femmes React because we're gonna react to the next episode of Only Friends for their channel in a couple hours. Hmm. Maybe we'll see. If episode two rolls around and I'm still wearing this shirt, you know what happened. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you, Slytherin Wolf. Love you for the suggestion. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Mwah.